Welcome to Eric's Home Research Centre. My name is James Hart and I'm the Senior Director here. We actually have around 35 to 40 people working here in Eric's Home. They're all typically based in the buildings just over to my right here. Of those, we have about 20, which are you know, full-time academic staff. We have maybe 10 to 15 PhD students or postdocs working at any given time. And we also have a small team of dedicated clinicians, um, as well as administrative staff here in Eric's Home which allows us um, to, or the rest of the, the scientific team to focus on the actual scientific work here. Within our scientific staff, we have psychologists, we have neuroscientists, we have engineers, we have mathematicians, um, all of which contribute to the quite diverse range of science that we actually do. In, in addition to the scientific diversity, we actually have a, a quite a, a broad team culturally. We actually have about 14 different nationalities um, working here in, in Eric's home. And as you could imagine, that adds a great deal in terms of um, sort of the social fabric of, of, of the, the organization, as well as you know, the very diverse uh, professional background that we have. We're actually physically located uh, in Eric's home about an hour's drive away from headquarters. The decision to keep us separated was actually made right at the beginning of, of Eric's home's life back in 1977. Um, the reason for this is we wanted to keep um, the, you know, the core research activities that go on here very much separated from the developmental um, work that goes on in, in, in headquarters. Now, why this is a good thing, it means that Eric's home scientists can actually focus on the next generation of uh, hearing devices, next generation of technology, next generation of features that can go into our devices, um, completely independently of the development organization. And that's a really good thing because the reality is in, you know, in an R&D um, department, there's a lot of you know, brush fires that need to be um, put out every day and there's a lot of immediate concerns. Here we can focus on the important, not on the urgent. And I think that is one of the essence of, of what Eric's Home is all about. For Oticon, this is also an advantage because um, it allows, you know, after an immediate product launch, there's already good ideas waiting in the wings um, to be able to be included in the next generation devices. So here in Eric's home, we actually work on three main focus areas. Number one is around personalized audiology, where we try and understand better an individual's hearing loss and then try and find the best possible uh, solution for them um, with their hearing device. Um, in addition to that, we also look at personalized audiology and trying to understand what their individual needs are in their daily living. And we try and see how we can incorporate that again into the next generation hearing devices. Our second area of research here in Eric's home is around uh, intent controlled hearing devices. Put simply, what we're trying to understand is when you're talking to somebody else um, in a restaurant or in another place, where you're directing your attention at any given time. Because we think if we can decode that using different types of physiological sensors and things that we can put on a hearing aid, we think we're gonna be able to tailor that, in, that hearing aid in the moment to what your needs are in that communication situation. Our third area of research here in Eric's home is looking at auditory fatigue. Now, listening is effortful. If you have a hearing impairment, it becomes more effortful. It becomes harder and harder for you to communicate in challenging auditory environments, when there's noise, when there's reverberation. What we're trying to do in this, this sort of pillar of research is actually better understand the cognitive processes that lead to those, um, to that auditory fatigue. Because if we can understand those basic processes better, it actually means the next gen we can build the next generation of devices in a way which best supports your um, listening in these kinds of diff difficult environments. Thank you very much for visiting us here at Eric's Home Research Center. If you would like to find out more about what we do and how we do it, please go to our website uh, or follow us on social media. Rabbit in a headline. No worry lines? No worry lines? <laughs> that would have been perfect.